Hello everybody, the Simplifiers here, and welcome to a new redstone tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a combination lock that is open using blocks, and you get to choose the amount of blocks that you put in here, and depending on if you get the right amount of blocks put in these holes here, it will either open the door or it won't, obviously. So this one right here, I'll show you how it works. You need to put in five. This one is none, and this one you need to put in 13. Just wait, and it opens, as you can see right there. Now, something to note is that um, you won't be able to get a perfect number with the, the amount of blocks. Um, there will always be a range, like um, it's not exactly 13. You can go up to like, uh, I think, four, five, six, seven. I think you go up to 17 uh, on this one. I'm not sure for this one right now, but yeah. Um, it's quite a good thing because, a good combination lock, because other than rem remembering the buttons to push, you actually have to remember the numbers, so it's not only easier for you to remember, but it probably is even harder for people to get into. And also another thing that kind of accidentally happened was if you go over the amount, over the range, you'll have to, um you'll have to wait for the blocks to despawn, so it's secure in that way, so if somebody tries to put in a whole stack of blocks, seeing what will happen, if the door will open, uh, they'll have to wait for the items to despawn for five minutes. Um, so yeah, and it's unlikely that you, the person who built this, will um, actually do that, because, again, there's a range, so um, if you go in the lowest number, there's like a four block range so you have a little bit of wiggle room there so how do you build it is very very simple let's tear this apart um, so obviously you have your opening right here you just have a water stream going to a weighted pressure plate a, uh, a light weighted pressure plate the gold ones uh, the reason why you're not using hoppers in a chest is because um, and then the computer coming out of the, the chest is because the items will never despawn, so if you go over the number, uh, you will never be able to get into your house, so that is not a good thing. Then coming out of the weighted pressure plate, you have a comparator, and depending on the amount of uh, length of this redstone wire right here, will determine how many blocks you have. So what I recommend you do is you uh, experiment how long you need for the amount of blocks that you want, and yes, yeah, so you want this to go, you want when the correct amount of blocks, the redstone signal to extend right here on this block. Not to here, but to here. Um, then that goes into co to a comparator again, facing this way, into a, uh, a repeater. And then coming off this way, we have a redstone wire going into a repeater. Then wires going into another repeater going into the side of the comparator. Uh, this side circuit right here will um, stop the signal if it is over the amount. So y someone can't come over and throw in an entire stack and it will open. Um, yeah. And then you have the same on this side. This middle one I've added just for kind of a trick. So like somebody, somebody will come over and they'll be like, Oh, how many do I need on here? How many do I need in here? And how many do I need in here? When really you don't need any in here. Uh, the reason why I didn't put any in there is because this would be a lot bigger and less compact if I did. So I d decided not to do that. Again, the same right here, just the wire is extended for a longer length. And it's reversed like this, and it's just longer. Um, so it, coming out of the repeater, they go into a block that's with a torch on the side. Uh, that basically inverts the signal, and they both do that, and then they come into one, and then they go into another block, which inverts it again, and then it goes to the door. And this right here will make sure that both of these are turned off. This is basically an AND gate, uh, making it so that both of these lines are turned on, which will turn off these r these torches, turning on this torch, extending out to the door, and it will open it. I'll do it one more time if you want to see it again. One, two, three, four, five. And that kind of failed. Jeepers. 
One more. One more. There we go. So you can see that the wire is extended to right here. Turning on this, turning off this torch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh, goodness me. 14. Yes, it's 13, but I just counted wrong. Um, so that turns on. Both of these are turned off, which makes this torch invert on. And it gets extended to the door. Right here. Anyways, I think that's about the end of this episode. Thank you for watching, and I will see you again next time. Goodbye.